Good morning. <clears throat> so last week we were introduced to perspective, which remember was to make something um, on a flat sheet of paper look 3D. So it looks like it has depth and looks like it stands out. We used a one point perspective, which is a mathematical type of perspective called li a linear type of perspective, um, where we drew the horizon line, the straight line across the page. We drew one point on that horizon line, it was one point perspective, and then um, we drew um, squares as well as a few other shapes and made them all go back in perspective to that one point. We cut them off and just to show you kind of where we were, so there is an example of what you would have done from last week, one point perspective and there's my three cubes going back to that one point and you can see I did a bit of a decoration on the horizon line as well. Now this week we're going to be introduced to two-point perspective. Now we are going to use two-point perspective in our project, but um, we don't really have to understand it that well. I'm going to show you a simplified version, but just to kind of show you how it works, where one-point perspective you had, um, you had one point on the horizon line where everything went back to, and it was like when you were looking down a long straight road. Now in two-point perspective. It's as though you're looking at a building from, from an angle. So you see the corner of the building here. And it sort of goes back in two directions, that way and that way. And let's see if, if this works with the book. So there's one point perspective where it kind of comes back in one, in one point. Um, it's getting thinner as it comes back towards me. If I put it like that, then it goes back um, this way as well as this way. Um, you can't really see because obviously it's a small book and it's a very flat camera. Um, uh, make direction. Ms. Cravensand, please can you report to Ms. Uh, Hull's class? Ms. Cravensand to Ms. Hull, thank you. Okay, carrying on. Um, so there is my example of what it would look like. Two-point perspective. As you can see, I still have the horizon line through the, through the page. I now have drawn two points. One, two. So that's two-point perspective. And as you can see, these cubes are going back in two-point perspective. They kind of, you see them at the corners, and they go back from there in two, two directions. Now, I'm going to show you how to do, do this, but in a simplified way. The reason we're doing this, two-point perspective, is because your project will be something like this. Now, I've done two examples. Um, the first one is a simpler one. It's still very cool. second one is a not-so-simple one. So there's a Rubik's Cube going back in two-point perspective. Um, that is one example. The next one is a bit more complicated. Um, was actually made a house going back in two-point perspective. Why it's more complicated is obviously because I've put more detail in it. I've got the, the, the um, arches in the roof, which is quite complicated to do. I've also got the bricks. Um, so let's look at how we're going to do it. All right, I'm going to shift the screen down so we can see. I've got a page in front of me. Now, if you remember, in all linear perspective, we are always going to have a horizon line. Now, normally I would draw the horizon line in. Um, for this, actually, for my original ones here, I'm going to put it up again so you can see. For my original ones here, I did imagine a horizon line, or I had a horizon line, but the horizon line was like way up here. It was way above the page. So the, the points actually go way off, off the page. Now, for this one here, we're going to do a slightly um, simpler way of doing it. Um, still correct. Now, we're going to imagine that this top of the page is the horizon line. All right? Now, I'm going to draw one vanishing point in this corner. You don't even have to draw it. Just know it, that the one corner of the page is the one vanishing point, And the other corner of the page is the other vanishing point. So now, what I'm going to do is, towards the middle of the page, I'm going to draw a straight line. It doesn't have to be exactly middle of the page. It can be slightly to one of the sides, but I'm going to draw it towards the middle of the page. And you want it to be straight up and down. So what, how I do that is I look at the top of my ruler. I look at, the, at the, the lines are both on the top of the page. And I'm just going to draw a line. Now, it doesn't have to be, it can be as big as you want it to be. It can be where you want it to be on the page as well. So I'm going to draw it about that big, OK? Now that long, sorry. Um, I must probably press a bit harder so you can see it a bit better. Um, okay, I'll press quite hard. Okay, there we go, you'll see that a bit better. Um, now, what I'm going to do 
is this top point goes to both vanishing points. So I'm going to draw a line. Remember, normally you would start through this line quite softly because you're going to raise it afterwards. But I'm just so you can see it on the camera, I'm going to draw quite hard. And then the bottom point also goes to both vanishing points. Let me just finish that one off. So it goes to both vanishing points. Okay, and then the bottom point also goes to both vanishing points. All right, remember, we're just using the corner of the page as vanishing points, just to make it a bit simpler for us, so we don't have to really work around the horizon line and that sort of thing. Now, this building goes, this whatever it is, if it's a cube or whatever it is, goes in one direction here and in one direction here. We have to choose in both directions how far along it can go. I think my one's going to be a bit more rectangular than this one, so it's going to go a bit smaller this way than it goes this way. So I'm going to cut it off about here on this one, and this way maybe about here, it's quite long. So at that point, can you see that this line here is straight down? This line here must also be straight down. So I can do that same measuring trick. I line it up at the top, and then I draw straight down. So now it's cut off on the one side. Now I do the same over here. Straight down. Okay. Well, obviously, it didn't need that. Um, but now, can you see that now we have more points? We've got one, two more points. Then must also go to the vanishing points. So now I take from there, right, right straight away to the vanishing point, and from there, To this vanishing point and I don't know if you'll see it clearly but I now have a cube um, I can just cut it in this side here so you can kind of see a bit and cut it in this way this way so now you can see a little bit that I've got a cube um, now the next step is you choose where your ground level will be I'm going to do this with a thing as well, show you on this thing here. My ground level is behind the cube. Um, so maybe about there, maybe I'll draw my ground level in. I try and make sure that it's straight across as well. So this cube is actually going to be hovering above the ground, which is what I want. And try and make sure it's lined up so it's not like at different heights. That would look a bit strange. Okay, there we go. Now I can draw a bit of a shadow underneath it. Just imagine where it, where it would be underneath it. And remember, this cube is longer in one direction than the other, so it would be a longer shadow. And the shadow would also kind of go back in perspective, so it must get a bit... And it can also get a bit darker near the front. I've just gone very quickly. Um, if I wanted to, I can now add extra detail and stuff on top though that is a bit trickier. Uh, you can add some bricks onto this. You can add a door, for example, if I wanted a door, say about that height. I then do the same thing. Draw, I'm going to draw a bit softer now so you can see. There's a door now, and straight up. There we go. Straight down. There we go, so now I've got a bit of doorway, I can do a person in the doorway, I can do whatever I want. So using these tools of perspective, I can even show you, I can, I can add, a, add a roof now. That's a bit trickier. Um, yeah, that would actually be quite a bit trickier than, than that. Um, I can, okay, I'll show you what I know. Okay, so you take that, divide, I'm crossing the Two diagonals, you don't have to do this, you can stop watching the video now if you're not interested. Um, where these two diagonals meet, I draw a line straight up in the middle. So that would be halfway through the roof, okay? Halfway through that, that top part. Now, I'm going to actually make it a bit higher. Then I can draw... This is quite a lot trickier than, than the basic thing. So 
So you choose how complicated you want your thing must be. And then from there to the horizon line as well. And then I guess I can just do it like that. Same angle, slide it across. And there we go. So now I've got a roof. All right, good. I'm um, not going to carry on with it. I've talked enough for now. Just kind of showing you some different tricks and that you can use. There's a lot of different things you can use for perspective. Um, but just a reminder, guys, this project is going to be for marks. I know that the, I said the sandal one was going to be for marks originally. Um, we didn't end up needing marks with term two. It's, it's only going to be this term and next term where your marks are going to come from and first term. Um, but um, we, I, I also were a bit disrupted during the sandal project because I had, to go, I had to go away and because of lockdown and things like that. So um, this project is going to be for marks. So make it as, as, as nice as you can. Be creative. You will get marks for creativity as well as what it looks like, as well as your use of perspective. All right, so a lot of different, uh, and also the care that you put in, as always. If you rush it and if you scribble it, you will lose marks. Okay, um, I've talked enough. Enjoy this project, guys. Just give it your all and do something exciting. Um, maybe I should also just mention creative pieces. Okay, so once I have, once you have done your 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 house, your your whatever shape it is going to be, you then can cut it out. Cutting out fast. Let me actually just pause it and show you later. Okay. Okay, now I've cut it out. This here is going to get stuck onto a black piece of paper or a colored piece of paper, or you can stick it onto newspaper, it would look quite cool as well. So choose where you want to do it. Um, obviously, I haven't colored this one in, but you saw my, my other finished ones, they were beautifully colored in. So it kind of put a lot of care into this. Okay, all right, enjoy the project, guys.